Welcome back to DUVille. I'm Anne Marie Homiser, Associate Vice President for Philanthropy and Engagement. Whether your last visit to campus was a few months ago or many years ago, we're glad you're here. From renovated spaces to new academic programs, there are so many exciting things to share with you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy members of our community as we walk through all things DUVille. Enjoy! Hi there, I'm Pam Say, Vice President for Institutional Advancement. At Duville, we take pride in living out the mission instilled in us by our founders, the Gray Nuns, and by their own foundress, St. Marguerite Duville. We never refuse to serve. That mission is stronger than ever. From our new healthcare professions hub, to our student advocacy center, the park, to service trips, to outreach by faculty, staff, and students during the COVID-19 crisis, we continue to live out the ideals of social responsibility and community engagement. During the 2018-19 school year, our students completed more than 6,000 hours of service through trips to high needs areas and outreach to our own Buffalo community. When COVID-19 cut into those plans for 2019-20, our community stepped up in different ways. More than 100 students took early graduation so they could work on the front lines with coronavirus patients. Healthcare faculty members traveled to New York City to work in the hardest hit areas while continuing to teach their classes online. Duville employees held food drives and blood drives to deal with critical shortages in Western New York. Students reached out to serve as online tutors for Buffalo school children, and the list goes on. We are now proud to share with you a project which will honor our Catholic history and mission. The new Heritage Center on the first floor of the Kessler Administration Building will be an opportunity for prospective students, alumni, and guests to discover the life of our namesake, learn about our founding, meet our famous alumni, and immerse themselves in more than 100 years of mission and action. Additional historical displays are planned for the third floor near our beloved Sacred Heart Chapel. Through photos, interactive touchscreen displays, and timeless historical artifacts, we will tell the story of the Grey Nuns who founded and shepherded Duva, along with the leaders and alumni who sustained it. Our students, faculty, and staff continue every day to live out our heritage of education and service. We are a community of lifelong learners, opportunity seekers, and leaders who never refuse to serve. Hi, I'm BG, and I'm the Chief Student Affairs Officer here at DUVille. The Division of Student Affairs is comprised of staff members whose sole responsibility is to ensure student engagement, development, and success outside of the classroom. Next time you visit campus, which I hope is very soon, you'll notice our students buzzing around through a number of clubs, organizations, and events. Life on campus is vibrant, but involvement isn't our only responsibility. We also have a focus on laying the groundwork for ensuring students have stability within their life. A great example of this is the park. The park is an advocacy center offering inclusive, supportive space where students connect with resources for challenges which could hinder their academic success. The humanistic vision of the park focuses on supporting the whole student. Many DUVille students face increasing challenges as they pursue purposeful careers. Many come from economically disadvantaged backgrounds, are first-generation citizens, or have families to support while attending school. The tools they need to succeed go beyond traditional mechanisms. The park provides personal support and connects students to on-campus and community resources for out-of-classroom needs, such as financial wellness education, counseling, mental health services, referrals, food insecurity, professional clothing for interviews and internships, family resources and support, public transportation information, housing and home buying assistance, emergency support, and more. At DUVille, students are members of a supportive community, and our goal is to ensure that students' personal needs are not only met, but exceeded. To learn more about our current students and community, I encourage you to check out our Instagram, at Saintly Ventures. Feel free to visit us anytime on the second floor of the Kessler Administration Building. Things may look a bit different around here, 
but I hope you'll always consider Duville your second home. Go Saints! Hello, I am Richie Murphy and I am a junior nursing student currently in my second semester at clinicals working at Buffalo General Hospital. When I first came to Duville, I knew I wanted to be as involved as I possibly could. When I was given the chance to join SGA as a first year student, I was ecstatic. I was going to be able to have a voice for my freshman class and help make decisions that have the possibility to change the future of our campus. Last year, I was elected VP of the SGA and chair of the Student Action Committee, while also sitting as a student representative of the Alumni Association's Board of Directors. During the spring semester, I then served as SGA president. This position taught me a lot about leadership and how even after graduation, you can make a difference at DUVIL. Now, in addition to my role in SGA, I am also in my second year as an RA in Marguerite Hall. And this year, as part of SGA, I now sit as the co-chair of the Student Engagement Committee. I feel lucky to be part of such an inclusive community of students and professors who help me grow professionally, but also socially. After graduation, I look forward to getting a job working on a med search floor or possibly in emergency nursing somewhere in Buffalo and being a part of the Duval family and being involved in the Alumni Association. Hi, I'm Sarah Marino. I'm a 2019 physical therapy graduate, a former student athlete, and a proud Duval Saint. I can't imagine anything that more eloquently represents my experience as a student athlete. Our story of the saints is a story set upon the rock of our foundation and is reflective of a spirit that never refuses to serve. Looking back on my time on campus as a dual athlete, my life at Duville revolved around the energy and community within athletics. I will always cherish the experience that I had on campus and am thrilled for the new experience that we will all share as saints. As part of our work to build a more inclusive community for all students, Duval recently welcomed two new members to our family, Maggie and Saint, two St. Bernard puppies who will grow up with our students and alumni. Maggie and Saint have been popping up all over campus and our students' faces light up each time they see them. Stop by to visit them anytime. Maggie and Saint are always looking for treats or extra pets and they can't wait to meet our Duval alumni. Go Saints! Hi, I'm Anna Halliday, Director of Athletics. Duval offers 15 varsity sports, including basketball, baseball, lacrosse, and women's rowing. We also offer club sports, such as cheerleading and women's rugby. Duval student athletes are successful on the court, on the field, and in the classroom. Our teams consistently hold some of the best GPAs in the conference. We emphasize community engagement, we host contests in each season that raise funds for cancer awareness and purchase food to donate to local families. Hopefully you've heard the latest exciting news. Duval was recently accepted to become an NCAA Division II member. Our membership in Division II begins with a provisional process, a three-year period during which we will expand our recruiting efforts, increase the number of men's and women's varsity sports we offer, and enhance our athletic competition and training facilities. As an NCAA Division II institution, we will continue to focus on multiple facets of the student-athlete experience, including comprehensive learning and academic development, high-level competition, and community engagement. The philosophy of Division II aligns closely with Duville's mission of providing students with a quality, holistic learning experience designed to develop graduates that will become compassionate leaders that never refuse to serve. Unfortunately, our fall 2020 competition season is on hold due to public health concerns, but as a Division II member, we will soon compete against next conference challenges, including the Damon Wildcats, Roberts Wesleyan Red Hawks, Malloy College Lions, and many others. We hope you will come out and cheer on our teams when we visit a city near you. Go Saints! Hello, I'm Mimi Stedman, Vice President of Academic Affairs here at Duville. I'm excited to share with you some of our innovative, student-centered spaces and technologies that make Duville a great place for students to learn and grow. First, I'd like to show you the Student Success Center. Located on the first floor of the Bauer Family Academic Center, 
Success is home to academic advising, transfer services, and career and professional engagement. Inside the Success Center, students receive assistance choosing their courses, tips on time management, and studying, and support preparing for their professional futures. Just across the hall, you will find the IT Pulse Center, a sleek and modern space for technology assistance where students can have their questions answered quickly and find some of the most popular student spaces to study. Just upstairs on the second floor of the Kessler Administration Building, you will find the Solution Center, a one-stop shop for all student service needs. The Solution Center is home to financial aid, student accounts, and the registrar. Here, students find resources to help keep their education affordable. The Solution Center was created with two major considerations in mind. How do we best serve students, and how do we leverage technology to meet them where they are? Duville awards over $16 million annually to students, much of that aid provided by gracious donors and alumni like you. Over 90% of Duville students receive some form of financial aid, and our graduates continue to earn top salaries in Western New York. Proof of the Student Success Center and Solution Success can be seen through Duville's increased retention rates. Not only has total retention increased from 81 to 85 percent in the past year, but Duville now exceeds the national average for private college retention. In addition to updated student services, Duville has made numerous capital improvements to classrooms, labs, and academic spaces across campus. Spaces like the Simulation Center provide opportunities for enhanced interprofessional education. The Simulation Center was designed to provide opportunities for students across healthcare programs to understand how multiple disciplines are involved in the holistic care of a patient. Through unique clinical simulations, students learn and practice their skills in an environment that mirrors what they'll experience once they graduate. Throughout the last year, there have also been extensive upgrades to the facilities and technology for classrooms and labs, including labs used by our physical therapy, occupational therapy, and nursing programs. In addition to upgraded physical spaces, our enhanced campus technology supports a growing online learning department. Duville proudly offers 13 fully online degree and certificate programs, including undergraduate RN to BSN program, a graduate family nurse practitioner program, and a post-baccalaureate certificate in long-term care administration. The academic offerings and rigor of a Duville education continue to be the hallmark of our institution. In addition to nationally recognized programs, Duville continues to expand our portfolio of degree offerings, most recently, launching a, most recently launching a Bachelor's of Science in Marketing and a Certificate in Spanish Language Interpretation. It gives me great pride to know that generations of Duville students continue to excel as leaders in their professions. The reputation of a degree from Duville is stronger than ever, and I am confident you will see the positive contributions of Duville graduates in your industries for years to come. Thank you. Hello, I'm Nate Martin, Vice President for Operations. We are so excited to show you the progress being made on Duville's Health Professions Hub. Once a dream, you can now see it taking shape and becoming a reality here on Buffalo's West Side. Despite the COVID-19 crisis and the New York pause order, the hub was deemed essential and therefore construction was able to continue during these last few difficult months. And in just a short while, it will be open for business. Although the phrase has become cliche, the hub will be a win-win situation because it fills a dual mission. Not only will it provide our students and professionals with hands-on clinical training in a unique and innovative learning environment, but it will also offer families on the west side greater access to much needed high quality healthcare. This nearly 60,000 square foot education, training, and community health center will include the following. A community health clinic and pharmacy, high-tech spaces, meeting rooms, and open work zones, an interprofessional education and simulation center, a demonstration kitchen and cafe, a rehabilitation and wellness center, and a state-of-the-art community engagement and innovation space that we call the town square. As clinical placements for our healthcare majors become harder and harder to find, the Hub will provide the hands-on training so many of our students need and deserve. And while some of this training will take place in simulation, they will also have the opportunity to interact with real patients on the direction of medical professionals from our partner Catholic Health in the clinic. 
In addition, the Hub will offer area healthcare providers opportunities to upskill their training. And we're working on programs that will help our West Side neighbors access well-paid, sustainable careers in healthcare, where thousands of new workers are expected to be needed over the next few years. We know the Hub will be a jewel of the West Side. It will improve the health of the region, offer social mobility, and provide health equity and innovation, and expand the education opportunities for our students. We can't wait until you join us back on campus and see it for yourself. Welcome everyone. My name is Lorraine O'Donnell, Executive Artistic Director of the Kavanoki Theater. I'd like to thank our loyal patrons for all your support during this unprecedented time in our history. I'm so proud to say that during this time, we were able to continue construction and renovation work on the theater due to the incredible support of Deuville, your generous donations, and a matching grant from the Regional Economic Development Council. So let's take a look at where we started more than 40 years ago and where we are today. The original theater was built in 1903. In 1980, Board of Trustee member Edward Kavanoki, along with founding artistic director David Lamb, started a campaign to renovate the original theater and the Kavanoki Theater was born. Fast forward to today. As you enter the newly renovated space, you'll notice the new color palette, warm and sophisticated. This transformation in color and detail is the design work of Jason Krushka, along with the craftsmanship of Frank Ferrelli. The space is still grounded with a traditional red carpet and new seats. Beautiful scalloped edged wood with red velvet cushions. At the end of each row, a black and gold end cap that highlights the perfectly intricate plaster scroll work on the face of the balcony. And of course, in order to appreciate the total look of the space, lighting was critical. These two crystal chandeliers that once hung in the president's office have now found their perfect home. Over 700 crystals and beads in each chandelier shine the perfect light on the rebirth of this beautiful space. New lighting sconces in the same style as the vintage chandeliers have been added to both the main floor and the balcony to make for the perfect atmosphere before and after the show. We can't wait for you to see this in person. So here is our plan for this coming season. First, we're offering an online music chat series called Live from the Cav. Check out our website for details. Season tickets for a four-show season are on sale right now at CavanokiTheater.com. Our opening November show will also be filmed, so in case New York State does not allow seating at that time, it will still be available online to enjoy at home. And every ticket you buy, if the show is canceled due to COVID-19, will be good for two seasons. The renovation of the theater is a testament to the incredible support of President Lori Clemo and the Deuville Board of Trustees. They recognize the importance of the future of the arts here in our community. Western New York, this is your theater, and we can't wait to welcome you back. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of our new spaces and hearing about all the exciting, innovative things happening on campus. While it would take hours to show and explain all that makes Deuville such an incredible institution, I hope this tour gave you a glimpse of how we continue to live our mission and prepare students to face the challenge and opportunity of an ever-changing world. It is undoubtedly disappointing that we are unable to physically welcome alumni back to campus this weekend. But I have no doubt what you would see and experience would make you very proud to be a Deuville graduate. Congratulations to our reunion classes, and I look forward to seeing you at alumni events in the near future. <laughs>